hi good hello hi good evening everyone welcome to free willing fridays with only two of us kartik's not here uh, for this week um i think uh, uh, bargavi and me hopefully will make it more entertaining than kartik so that kartik joins us next time right or you know going <laughs> forward and bring in a guest like it happens in um, all in bargavi they get like a uh, a uh, person you know when somebody is not there i think we should start planning that <laughs> yeah so in- but they haven't done it a lot but yes i think last time when they got it it was one of the most liked episodes it seems after they got elon so no, this was, was I, this was the last time was a couple of weeks ago the 101st episode 101st episode was the most liked episode after elon yeah. came Oh, is it okay? That was the altimeter capital. Uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. And I think it became uh, even more successful because after that, uh, that guy wrote an open letter to Facebook. So, um, so oh, the altimeter uh, guy. Yes, yes, and they discussed a lot about Facebook in hundred and second episode also. So okay. people who uh, still are figuring out what we are talking about, there is a podcast called All In Podcast. Uh, so it's a great one. You should listen. So yeah, they they um, spoke a lot about Facebook in hundred and first, hundred and hundred and second episode. No, absolutely, I think all of us are big fans of uh, um, the All In uh, uh, podcast. Team, gang, besties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think partly. I think we also do an All In, but yeah, I mean, it'll be too much to claim that we do. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it looked like we are showing off, but maybe. Yeah. If I have to tell tell in Tamil, only get the job overall. That surprisingly means you know I am also doing the broadcast today from uh, the uh, Tamil region. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's uh, the. Yeah, that's why you see some fancy backdrop of uh, you know. Yeah, otherwise you know. Because he's sitting in a five-star hotel and doing the freewheeling now. Don't tell that you know LP will think we're putting all our money into this, huh? <laughs> we need it, right? You have to do it to get more LPs. So I think it's it's yeah, all yeah. in the game. <laughs> I mean, that's why I am here. You know, any LP is sitting around. Uh, you know, in Tamil Nadu, you can ping me straight away. <laughs> Twitter DMs, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think Thank you, Manoj. Up, I think Manoj has shared the open letter. Thank you for that. Yes. So I think we should just put it up. Uh, okay, if somebody else wants to also uh, take a look, let me do that. Uh, uh, as uh, I, uh, I, you know, Bhargavi uh, will pick up the next question, and I'm going to show that. Okay, here it comes. Yeah, so I think we link. should uh, continue discussing on uh, Facebook because uh, apparently um, they are saying they are going to fire twelve thousand people. and um, this is it's actually very very um dampening to read the news daily morning right uh, because uh, we heard uh, closer to home charge b right if i'm not wrong charge b for firing people and today twitter yeah. uh, twitter's news is there and twitter apparently has got a class action lawsuit filed against it by the same person who did it against a tesla apparently and didn't win so <laughs> trying um, luck the second time yeah yeah so she's yeah she's trying her luck uh, so but under californian law apparently they can't fire people without giving two months notice so oh, it's it's uh, tough all around the world um, and uh, closer home i think by juice is also doing mm. Yeah, here's a letter. If somebody wants to just, you know, we just wanted to put it out here. I think, you know, if there's any interesting segments that you want to discuss, you know, Bargavi, I think we can look at it. And that's the open letter. Uh, I haven't read. Surprisingly, I don't. I missed it. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's actually a very, very interesting um, take and analysis which is done. Um, post the analyst call of uh, facebook right I, if i have to just tell one key thing which uh, chamath has done one analysis is um, he estimated how much facebook will spend in um, all the um, uh, metaverse over mm-hmm. the next 10 years and his estimate is if they continue to increase the spend as claimed by them in their analyst call then uh, it will be as um, large as the apollo 
project yeah rocket project of apollo so that is that is the um, expectation but already they are spending lot i think they are spending like 4 billion dollars every quarter on that uh, which is like 25 billion is what i thought right no that's not 25 20. billion is the estimate for next year this year is 16 billion dollars so they are saying uh, they they are going to increase it significantly so nobody knows what is that significant number so people are estimating it to be 25 billion dollars and um, um apple spent apparently 3 billion dollars to get the first iphone out so that is a ppp adjusted number so yeah. you see the difference so people are like unless facebook is doing something which is going to fundamentally change humanity it's it's having its effect on its share price yeah yeah no i listen to that but it 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 also you know as a another you know dampening effect uh, because that means all of the so called fang stocks right the big uh, the too big to fail companies that was touted for a long time right are all failing so you have facebook meta has such failing amazon stock got hit so uh, like chamat saying that amazon itself is going to find it hard how to uh, you know do new innovation from here on and when jeff bezos is not being there yeah netflix, netflix is over and out yeah yeah which is, which is the other end i'm thinking now <laughs> and uh, then there is uh, google or alphabet google is still uh, stronger of the lot actually if we see yeah. google yeah. and apple are actually stronger of the lo- lot microsoft possibly and possibly microsoft. microsoft is not even in that list no unfortunately fang yeah. may where is microsoft it's not there it's not there they've been excluding but actually that's taken the yeah. you know the stomp I mean, that's great and then you know we're coming to some sad stories all over the ecosystem you know just like uh, bargavi was pointing out you know uh, facebook is going to do a layoff i think we also saw twitter by the way web, the web app of twitter is not opening i don't know how many of you checked it uh, i was just trying to open for this session and i actually couldn't open <laughs> frankly really yeah yeah on the web app and I, um, i saw on twitter that indian employees of twitter has been locked off automatically yeah, yeah. maybe you know a lot of uh, issues and i'm not able to log into the web app for some reason uh, i tried oh really i'm trying now maybe i don't know it's my issue uh, uh, and uh, only the app is working on the phone yeah so oh manoj, no web app is working vinod uh, okay maybe it's only me and <laughs> manoj also uh, by the way manoj is uh, somebody who's working with us okay for people you know who are thinking you know he's somebody who just joined us recently is working with us and you know i think looks like manoj is putting in uh, a lot more effort uh, <laughs> thanks manoj <laughs> yeah and uh, apple is now worth more than google amazon netflix and meta combined yeah i think that's my largest holding of the us stock by the way so uh, <laughs> so i think uh, maybe in for some luck there yeah um, <laughs> good yeah. yeah and elon you know help me uh, you know earn about 7 dollars you know thanks to elon musk uh, <laughs> so i think finally the twitter deal uh, getting done right uh, is also something uh, interesting right um, i was just reading um, uh, someone just writing a tweet right uh, uh, elon had a ego uh, brush and he said you know i'm going to acquire then you know he developed a, 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 you know some sort of a, a an issue on the price then he went back and the management uh, pulled it and finally he eventually bought it and now he is just going to fire half of the employees so yeah. i don't know what, what 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 is he trying to do or what exactly is he intending to do right it's like we don't know um we're in for a storm and 8 dollar twitter is been the story uh, for the last couple of uh, days i think yeah so barbi what do you think will you pay for 8 dollars and get a blue tick and uh, i already don't have blue tick what is a blue tick going to do <laughs> i mean blue tick basically says who you are you know you are a uh, you know it's verified it's not, account essentially yeah, it's a verified account i think that yeah, yeah. it's not a celebrity account you know it's supposed it's to be it's a celeb- yeah yeah they have different classes a blue tick is a 
account influencer account sort of yeah no it is not it was supposed to be a verified account right so influencers all got it because you know they had the maximum number of followers you know so yeah but i don't have a blue tick so <laughs> no then you can get it right like it's like democratizing blue tick in a way correct if for 8 dollars yeah Elon has been tweeting like uh, how Kamala Hassan tweets, right? All cryptic messages since morning. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I'll just try to, I mean, I can't log in, but I'll try to just like, go into Twitter. Oh man, my browser is not even allowing me for whatever uh, reasons. What did you do, Vinod? Did you rub Elon on the wrong side? Yeah, uh, yeah. Are you ousted out of Twitter? <laughs> AOC, right? <laughs> <laughs> or i think maybe you create you uh, raise so many issues for uh, bbmp with your complaints that uh, the moment they got to block you they would have <laughs> told elon yeah looks like you know i i have become as famous you know for complaining to the bbmp in bangalore uh, yeah. you know, anything else yeah cool so that's that's second one coming but with the layoffs right not just uh, us we heard charge b we've heard uh, udan baijus udan baijus udan i mean is it like over or is it still you know i think these are like large ones which has taken the headlines but i think uh, there are these other smaller ones also which is happening but overall it's it's actually becoming very very uh, difficult hmm. so so will it mean we you know uh, we should expect more people uh, to be fired from all of these companies so that means it creates yeah but the upside is more talent is going to be oh, available founders. at the right cost now for some of the founders who really wants to build something now right time to do you are going to get talent for the right cost now without giving them uh, bikes and iphones <laughs> yeah So the valuations also have to get tapered down. Hopefully, we'll find you know much more reasonable valuations. Continuing, you know, the the other story, you know, tying up Vargavi is been the story on the U.S. Uh, rate increase. Yeah, Fed Fed rate is uh, rate is hiked again, and I think the markets are showing it for the last two days. But if you see, Indian market has been going up. I, I, I am like worried, you know, it's a fal- false flag. <laughs> no, it's it's actually holding strong, which is actually good, right? Uh, if you yeah. see, uh, the market went up by um, has actually gone up net net by ten percent in the last six months. Indian market, which is which is good, and the Fed Fed has told uh, that this is the last hike um, mm-hmm. or nothing more in the vicinity now. so um, uh, let's hope but i thought indian markets will go down um, but they have been holding strong yeah maybe they factored in or you know or they'll just you know go back and fall the later the local like demand that. maybe is high so we we don't know uh, yeah. very very hard to predict is what i'm thinking <laughs> yeah indian, yeah indian market at least so what Sell-offs is the have not happened at yeah yeah another round will happen is my view it it will fall and then rise or maybe or it's rising all the See, day and uh, the us market falling now is also because it is their uh, financial year end now so um, and um, all the q3 results have come out over the last 10 days right um, from all the large companies um, analyst calls have been happening and uh, their q4 prediction which is the current quarter is also not good so that is also showing up in the market so if we go by the same logic then um, we should see some some correction in march in in the indian market yeah let's 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 see how that happens and there is this prediction of recession you know even on all in you know you were you hearing you know chamath and all of them talking about a recession so if a us recession happens i keep asking this question you know what does that mean for uh, us or you know technically you know what would happen in in india i mean for us recession to happen there has to be degrowth for at least two quarters right i don't see any degrowth at all so we are at least two quarters away to even think of recession right like there's no degrowth happening i think for india because of local um, consumption and demand i don't know whether there will be recession i think there will be slow down uh, in the us also now people are saying it's see 
one thing i think where uh, people are getting very cautious is last two times we saw a v recovery mm. now nobody is going to predict a, such a steep fall or a recovery right so i think that has been the biggest concern for people because they don't know when is that recovery going to happen and uh, mm. in a slow um, slow down of economy scenario i think same will happen in indian economy also it will slow down but uh, will we actually get a recession we don't know but if there is recession uh, coming in the us then as we see for us it could be a cause of concern because and especially with fe- uh, fed rate hikes uh, all your growth capital is going away mm. why would a um, uh, institutional ca- uh, fa- uh, uh, lp common park money with uh, a country like uh, india or a fund in india where us fed uh, is giving them good rates yeah that's the biggest worry i think at least whoever i have heard you know who's gone to the us or uk and come back right in the recent past everybody has just come back with a uh, with tears in the eyes if i have to put it <laughs> <laughs> so nobody is willing to open their purse for uh, funds uh, uh, you know i mean everybody is going to put in their own treasuries bonds because the us market is safe enough you know why do you want to take the risk by coming to an emerging market so i think the squeeze of capital has already happened and with another rate increase i think it we are only just going to squeeze it they are going to squeeze it even further so there is no new capital that will kind of come unless it's a very high risk chasing capital which is chasing india correct correct That's and especially the, with the rupee tumbling yeah the rupee i think is not less tumbling like i mean like humpty dumpty already gone so what <laughs> more it shouldn't temple now no but i think rbi tried its best to maintain at 80 82 i think now it's probably not wanting to put all its reserves behind uh, you know trying to hold the rupee uh, but uh, i think the other assertion i was just checking right like the rupee is stronger against other currencies except for the dollar i was just looking at dirham right dirham is also appreciated by 20% over the last 20 25% over the last 3 4 years so it's been strong against some basket of currency but not necessarily against all of the currencies right like that like okay kind of a statement to defend the value of uh, rupee and um, uh, uh kartik right i think you know should be banned is what i was thinking <laughs> yeah um, kartik <laughs> yeah. if he's not coming on Looks the like show there was no personal work uh, i think he was watching punni in selvan which got released today in <laughs> amazon yeah. prime and then <laughs> he was like oh i don't want to come online for <laughs> free will so basically he's choosing punni in selvan over talking to us i think that Maybe. has been Maybe. talking to all of them why us <laughs> yeah <laughs> Anyway, watching, you know, Karthik is asking about the uh, central bank move and Abu Dhabi. Central bank move, Karthik. See, I, I read about it. Frankly, I am also eagerly seeing what it means. But when I was small, right, um, uh, there used to be something called as promissory notes, and even now, I think it's there. It is and, a note, na? Every note is a promissory note. Yeah, uh, yeah but uh, RBI used to have, or banks used to have these promissory notes, right? I was wondering. Um, so there are all these different notes right i i just thought this is probably a newer way of calling some of these notes you don't know which is pro, which is maybe standardized more now and that's what i thought so but i think this is also another way of uh, taking away the uh, cash component uh, from the general business um uh, you say i think is another let me let me put it in from the gold business the diamond business i don't want to do but in general right i think it, it's another real estate uh, they are attacking it from another angle now that's what i will have to think for because upi you can only do so much right so what do you do for large transactions and businesses i think that is what they are now looking at doing um so yeah i am but frankly that's all even i could think of or read about the first thing came to my mind was promissory notes when i saw that i i think i see multiple impacts you know imagine you know this just pull out the paper from the market yeah so someone was talking about the version 2 of demonetization yes so, that's what i'm telling this is version 2 of demon yeah. exactly i think uh, i i'll tell you in i mean from my last two days right i can tell you there's so much cash running around 
yeah 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 <laughs> last two days i see you know everything's happening you know lot of more cash as to i think three industries i would pick real estate gold diamond i think this is all completely cash transaction especially at the b2b level b2b level yeah yeah and maybe. textiles maybe yeah, I, i mean yeah textiles to some you know good extent also i think yeah uh, all of this happens with this uh, thing called uh, chitti or parichay or uh, parchi parchi not parchi they say or tund chitte uh, <laughs> All, all, all is what happening, you know. Uh, we know, so, and uh, and by the way, Vinam don't get ideas, you know. Uh, <laughs> well, Vinam, why do you think he has gone somewhere else? Okay, I think he went with two suitcases. Maybe you never know. <laughs> so no, no, I think this should not. And by the way, Karthik, uh, this is free wheeling after all. If you're home, come log in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. When I'm known, there's nothing that I'm dealing with, frankly. You know, I, I wish uh, I could, but I, I, I'm not dealing with any of these uh, <laughs> potentially demonetizable uh, paper notes any longer. <laughs> so, so okay. Let's answer a serious question also, which uh, Abudai uh, Singh is raised. Uh, impact of digital currency by RBI. We'll come back to Vinay. Uh, okay, the, uh, we'll come back to Vinam. Yeah, and, and I think can I factor a stable coin in the future and Web three could power DAOs and crowd fundings? Actually, I would say all this is no. RBI is doing it for itself. Correct. RBI is doing it for uh, taking out uh, the black. RBI... And not only that, I think it's also to better manage the demand of rupee. Uh, yes. When you have these um, some of these standardized notes, right? I think maybe it's also because of that. Um, to avoid such fall of rupee uh, again no it, it could lead to a very in- interesting international usage bargavi like if yeah. if we have a currency which rbi is controlling and rbi is settling right so there is no third party risk right correct correct so i'm not dependent but, on the bank so, so that so might be the larger goal also for larger me. goal so imagine you know you go to uae or australia and you want to buy rupee i buy directly from the rbi right like i mean if the, if it's on a chain which is what it is on currently that's what uh, cbdc is it's on a chain right so i am able to kind of buy eventually when it comes to retail or even wholesale right like so there is lot more or oh, less of transaction risk and settlement risk that goes out of the system literally right so you don't need a third party bank like today right if i do a us dollar exchange right a us bank is involved yeah. like if you do a dirham there is a bank involved eventually to complete the exchange right so with this right i think we could do a lot more uh globally i think and i think it, i also think it's a process to internationalize the rupee at some level yeah because they already did one step in that right where uh, right. they created direct transaction with uh, some of the other currencies uh, hmm. so i think this is probably st- stage 2 in towards yeah. that but i mean i don't think about web 3 and all that yet man i don't think so the government is prepared actually government is trying to do all this to avoid actually all those uh, <laughs> i in the government see all those are nonsense Uh, at least not in maybe you know the investors views and other but but the government thinks uh, all the crypto all this is nonsense maybe you know it'll only encourage infrastructure related uh, blockchain projects now that but you never know when it changes right if they can provide a stable stable coin no, not, nothing like it right when you have a government uh, sovereign providing a stable coin nothing right. like it maybe it will come into play but not like once they test with all these things then maybe right. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's like a UPI only. If you ask me, what is a stable coin? It'll be like one more UPI technically, but with the RBI doing the settlements at the back end instead of banks doing the settlements uh, today. I mean, that's possible. That's what you're calling it as a stable coin. Oh, it's possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's right. He's saying move away. Yeah, reduce the reliance on something like a SWIFT. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, that would definitely happen. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Great. Cool. So. Any other interesting news closer to our ecosystem? Uh, <laughs> We see. No, our ecosystem, in a sense. Funding uh, news. Any. Um, yeah, yeah. Any think, news? No, no. I think that I came across uh, one interesting uh, uh, application. I think you should bring that also. Called Artha, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's. Uh, yeah i was telling you know it's like another stealth mode startup second round 90 million dollars pre launch and yeah. if 
uh, they sent me i i i was on the wait list and they sent me a beautiful cartoon which mm. explained what they do and um, it's nothing but uh, something like what we were discussing you know a single person helping you with your tax planning financial planning a family mm. office for people like you and me who are not rich so <laughs> uh, so they are saying it's more digitized it's just that we know it is also unorganized it's like it's or in the sense it's not novel so um, i'm quite keen to know what they are building newly but um, also why 90 million dollars right for something which has not even been launched yet no, i think it's a great question and a lot of people ask me also right why somebody has been given 90 million uh, dollars uh right but and even when this company got initially funded bargavi they got about 10 million dollars in the previous Correct. round right and it it remained in stealth and uh, now they are saying they will do the launch in november sometime but um, wow it's it's like it beats me i'm yeah. one of the eager customers waiting to see what wonder they do but i am also not sure what will happen like i'll tell you why the expectation rate like indwells right just in the indian company like i have been using it for quite some time now you also used it right i also I use it still mm. it didn't dramatically change it it helped i would say but it didn't dramatically change the whole uh, experience if you ask me it didn't so for somebody who is not super heavy rich and if you say the app is going to do the job i have my own doubts if you ask me frankly even now So the exactly nice right. So uh, it, then, if if it's a AI that powerful, then um, uh, I mean, have they uh, if they have built it already? Then it, it's it's just raises more questions than answers. And yeah. but one thing when I signed up, what I noticed was it's not targeted for Indian um, population. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's mostly targeted for the angel list kind of crowd, accredited investors. um who would be looking at a complete mini family office management kind of solution so so those are some of the things i could uh, uh, uncover as of now yeah. so yeah yeah into when they launch i don't even know whether um, let's say I, i will get a entry because i am from india yeah i am from india and the income tax department will never allow me to do everything using a system that i can tell you because you actually have to go and you know consult a person <laughs> to figure <laughs> something's gone wrong which i'm actually doing already again <laughs> it is it is pretty much a common thing right i doubt i would say like maybe 5 10% you know will use in india if at all like that also is a little too high a prediction maybe globally we don't know but yeah i don't have high hopes at least on that uh, company Yeah. but there's another company which caught my attention you know a lot of people spoke about it and coincidentally it's called clay uh uh, uh, uh clay dot uh, earth it's a personal crm oh yeah so it, it, a lot of people mentioned uh, it to me and uh, i i thought you know that's pretty interesting it's out of beta and uh, it's a interesting company uh i have tried some personal crms in the past like dex and another one i i think a couple of them i have tried out and i paid for it also but nothing really worked frankly speaking after a point it became very difficult to use so so currently the one product that i use is called bridge which that's more like a introduction Intro, to intro yeah yeah but this looks very exciting so i am going to try this out and if it works you know i think it might be even worth paying it so i mean this is just a shout out to clay uh, you know i mean there are some indian founders also i think you know so i think there's something interesting uh, to watch out for personal crm has been my thesis for some time uh, or calling it as unbundling of facebook right you can have events platforms you can have your personal connected crm platform you know a lot of those possible calendar calendly with google is done that right so all these have some scope you know to unbundle what facebook was doing because facebook was dead in some form right so all that you were doing on facebook can potentially come back and i think this could be useful imagine as a vc you know bargavi this could become like a very interesting tool for us yeah frankly you know we supposed to be in the relationship business and uh, you know 
this is a good tool you know it might be worth playing i think we should experiment that's the tool just to bring it up uh, you know in this weeks interesting finds let's say and uh, yeah that is the story of i think it's not even there for android <laughs> <laughs> so that's a perennial problem you know most vcs anyway use android yeah sorry we, uh, most vcs use ios <laughs> yeah unlike me yeah yeah only only you know micro vcs use android phones yeah <laughs> cool that that's uh, interesting uh, any anything else that's catching your attention bargavi uh, you know obviously um are... yeah this is little controversial but there was one company um uh, udan which i thought is finished and then i saw they have raised capital <laughs> now so um, i frankly thought um, why and uh, it actually makes it more curious right um, what are they going to do with this capital and it's not small money i think they raised like 120 million dollars or something now uh, to probably get out udan.2.0 uh, now maybe right uh, so uh, that is that's uh, another development which i am closely watching because personally i thought that company is not going to raise any more capital but i think it was too big to fail maybe because if we see at, at it was what uh, when it became the unicorn it was the fastest unicorn in india yeah. in 18 months uh, so yeah so it's a great um, unfortunate turn of events uh, frankly the but um, still, the sorry same thing applies to baiju also so some discussions that are happening happening right but so baiju is uh, gone way beyond uh, those levels to fail now <laughs> How, how do you fail at a 30 billion dollar valuation what was the last valuation 30 billion dollars yeah, i think 25 billion yeah 28 yeah yeah how do you fail so too big udan was not at that level i but i think udan was known for that quickest unicorn uh, in the country so uh, so let, let's see how that turns out whether it is like delaying the eventuality or they actually make something out of it yeah So that'll be interesting to watch um i think uh, the more exciting uh, thing is uh, if if recession hits us we still continue to grow and what will that mean nobody knows uh, if you ask me uh, that's one i'm like waiting for answers clearly and then there is the world cup that i'm watching uh, which is also keeping us uh, <laughs> excited uh, you know th- those are the ones uh, i mean there have been like all um you know interesting last ball finishes somebody is asking you know what will happen to byju's probably schools oh i mean you can do schools i you, they are already doing tuition centers right so i think tuition yeah. is more than schools <laughs> they are saying they are already powering schools also which which yeah. which was the solution which they offered for free to the government yeah yeah i mean the i think we are like two years of slight amount of uncertainty you know uh, overall uh, that's my sense just play your uh, play like you know when i'm you know you're asking about the india thing right i would say you know become rahul dravid bus play for the next uh, couple of years uh, consistently play, play a lot of defense i think should work <laughs> 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 is what i think i'm answering good analogy you. yeah economically and also from a cricket logic yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay looks like kartik is not going to join so um, we are one voice less to talk more and yeah. uh, bring yeah. more amazing insights because we don't have uh, kartik so <laughs> i think kartik usually used to ask the questions Uh, and that that's the content fill so we should put up more uh, questions and guests are welcome you know you should you know look at vinam's ideas you know i think yeah vinam you know join byju's team literally Correct. yeah <laughs> i think that's what they've been doing vinam previously also been acquiring every company left right and center and that's where they are today so this will be like one more uh, addition you know to add then become 50 billion dollar company yeah 
so uh, i think to me right the other story is like you know we we see look at india as like you know the metro cities right like i mean given the travel that i was doing uh, just like some i mean not so interesting anecdotes but like i was talking to a bunch of uh, college uh, uh, people in mm-hmm. a small town i asked them you know i mean not to bring it this down but i asked them you know what do you, what is a unicorn do you know that you know and you, i mean and you know unbelievably a lot of them told i know unicorn it's a bike oh okay interesting it's a honda unicorn right like a bike so for all the talk about uh, you know you startups right i think it's in like if you ask me it's just there in the top 6 or 10 cities in india literally that is what the ecosystem currently is it's not gone yeah you are essentially saying we are all in a uh, in our own bubble yeah we are in like our own uh, cred uh, 1% uh, bubble bubble yeah like they know little bit zomato because they would have heard ola uber those are the ones they've really heard of Uh, frankly if i asked them to name right like that's the only name that i could get because that's pretty much the consumer facing platforms uh, that's like uh, you know need based almost food and you know travel uh, right that's what they've heard of in you know entire four tier cities right like i mean they actually don't know what it means and what the transformation that's happening on the startup ecosystem right they're still saying i want to get out of college and you know get to a job that's the only mm, thing mm. i think there's a lot more work to do to transform uh, overall not so just there is a lot of opportunity still available there's a lot of opportunities uh, uh, and you know we have not even using the talent pool fully uh, given the technology that that's so widespread uh, no ability to do it right i think it's still like i mean 2% of the whole country knows what this unicorn business is all about not even 2% is a lot actually yeah, i don't exactly. think even 2% knows <laughs> yeah, I, i would say 1% yeah. of the indian population knows what a unicorn is <laughs> and the whole of twitter timeline is filled with all these thread boys and unicorn boys <laughs> and girls <laughs> so you know just like it's a tempering uh, thing to go and see something like like that that's like opening eye opening you know and but they all uh, also right they also will have to understand the change will eventually happen it might be slow but the change is coming uh, that's what i see in like uh, possible yeah let's see how things move we have that's i think that that's a good uh, place where you anything to add any book you are reading and because we don't read books anymore looks like because we have not discussed books for a long time yeah yeah uh, i think the only books i read are all olympiad books so <laughs> okay this uh, is what uh, now my husband is reading see this is uh, that's a uh, yeah that's interesting okay. one yeah it's a, apparently a good book so let's see yeah, yeah i have somebody gave me a copy also i have one i haven't read so far uh, but i am listening to pony in selvan uh, you know audio Hope, hoping that i can complete i subscribe to audible just for that let's see if i can complete <laughs> listening to it where have you come till now i am only finished by chapter 1 now oh okay <laughs> so i haven't watched the movie so maybe i'll watch it after listening uh, after the point in uh, time and uh, yeah obviously podcast i've been listening to the scene unseen pretty regularly plus uh, but scene unseen tastes like 5 hour 6 hour right it means one uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah see this is what i like yeah 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 venam thanks man thanks for that yeah, <laughs> yeah. then uh, yeah all in is in that those are two things but would love to see if you guys know any of the climate podcast which is very interesting you know i'll Just, send you some i i yeah. listen to couple that there are yeah. um uh, indian ones the one that i really like is think school mm No, there's so, this. Yeah, there's a recent one I wanted to listen to. Bargui, this Carbon Clean founder, where Karthik of Bloom is. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that is uh, done by Bloom. It's a separate yeah. uh, channel created by Bloom. But yeah. I'll send you some of the climate ones, which are uh, uh, non-India based, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll share them here. We'll share them here. You know, in the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So next, and, next free wheeling, we will do a climate special episode, maybe, and we'll yeah, share some yeah. of the insights. Yeah, that would yeah. be interesting. Yeah. and we'll get uh, hopefully karthik you know for the climate change uh, 
session. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, guys. So somebody asked about one HR tech and job tech. Oh. Um. <laughs> so the, I think that's like the last one I will probably take, and maybe we wrap up for today. Yeah. So I think um, what uh, we are increasingly seeing is um, uh, the hiring. Like you, you provide payroll solutions or hiring solutions or interview solutions. Uh, those businesses are making money. Highly profitable, great lifestyle businesses for people to build, but I don't know how many of them are VC fundable because still in many of it, uh, either the tech is very less or the scope to build tech is also less, or you need some groundbreaking artificial intelligence uh, for that. So um, I think uh, I wouldn't discourage anybody to build anything in that space. Because uh, not every business has to be a VC funded business or VC fundable business. You can still build a business and uh, become rich or create wealth for yourself. So um, I think uh, from that point of view, this might be an interesting space. And especially with the global recession and uh, all these retrenchment happening, if people are looking at low cost options, then um, there might be more jobs which may come to India even from Europe. Uh, why not right yeah and we have one in the job skilling space called uh, shuru uh, we, we should we should see how that goes looking good so far yeah. so you should take a look at you know what they're trying to do differently uh, is uh, interesting i think that's a wrap hopefully next week from bangalore and uh, on climate change and some podcast recommendations and hopefully karthik uh, also will be back yeah <laughs> Yeah, see you guys all. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.